welcome to the example presentation for the Young Kalam Contest. You can find more about the Young Kalam Contest in the description below. I am Sayyam from Lion International School, Rohini. Let's watch a presentation by Madhumita from Lion Whitefield. Her topic is Atmospheric Water Generator. Over to Madhumita. Hello everyone. This is Madhumita, Ryan International School, Kunanahalli, Bangalore. Today, I'm here with my presentation for the Young Kalam Contest on Inventions. You know, I'm excited to share with you a super wonderful invention. A machine which can create water. It is called the Atmospheric Water Generator or AWG. As we all know, no water, no life on Earth. As it is known, the drinkable sources of water are the collected rainwater, groundwater, surface water and ice. Wait, I have to add something to the list. It's air. Sounds unreal, isn't it? You see, the air around us contains many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. It also contains water vapor. What about you collect the moisture in the air and make water? But remember friends, it's not as simple as it sounds. You need our technology and a suitable atmosphere for it. Let's check on some statistics. You know, two thirds of the earth is covered by water. However, only 3% of this is considered fresh water. 2.6% of this fresh water is inaccessible to humans. It is either locked up in polar ice caps, glaciers or stored as underground water. This leaves us roughly with 0.4% which is usable. It's like water, water everywhere, only very little to drink. You see, warm air contains more water while cold air contains less. So, if you turn warm air into cold, it gives out water. Yes, the AWG creates clean, fresh drinking water through the humidity in the air via a hyper-efficient condensation process. First, humid ambient air is drawn into the machine. It is then filtered to remove any unwanted particulates or bacteria. The air is then taken into the condensation chamber where it is condensed into water. The water is treated with ozone and ultraviolet light, maintaining its purity. Then, ta-da! You get high quality, chemical-free drinking water, chilled and ready to drink. As I said earlier, warm air contains more water while cold air contains less. We all know what condensation is, the conversion of vapor or gas into water. Do you know the process of condensation happens all around you? In the morning when you walk, you notice there's dew, condensation on leaves. Or would you have noticed moisture inside your fridge, foggy spectacles, a sweaty juice can or clouds in the sky? Yes, this is the method the scientists use for the machine. Amazing, isn't it? Friends, like any other equipment, this machine has some disadvantages. Like it needs a lot of electricity, needs frequent maintenance, is expensive and most importantly may not work in cold conditions because there is not enough humidity in the air. The AWG has many advantages like it can provide clean fresh drinking water in remote places away from oceans. It's not that big so it can be easily installed in places where the air is humid. I hope that in the near future, this machine will be available with less cost and more efficiency. Oh, after talking too much, let me quench my thirst by sipping some water. Before concluding, I want to remind you guys one thing. Remember to drink at least 2 litres of water every day. Goodbye friends, thank you. This was a great presentation about atmospheric water generator. To be honest, even I did not know such a machine exists, making out water out of thin air. Thank you Madhumita for explaining the concept of water condensation so nicely. She was speaking to the right speed, accurate pronunciation and it was easy to follow her. We can easily make out 
that she practiced her speech very well. Now it's your turn, friends. Get out there and make some amazing presentation for the Young Kalam contest. Friends, if you like the video, don't forget to give us a like, comment or share. Thanks for watching. Bye.